Do you like pants? I like pants. Let's make some pants. So I've made about two iterations in my sewing career. This is my first iteration where I didn't realize you have to match up the pattern of the pants. But I still like it. It gives me an extreme wedgie every time I wear it. But for my first try, not that bad. And for these pants, I did not use an official pattern. I just created a pattern out of existing pants. So that was pattern number one. These babies, I've learned. I have grown in sewing where I have created pants I like, except the difference is I decided to put a zipper in the back of this and created a giant hole, a semi-giant hole in the back of my pants. However, I did sew it up. It's not perfect. The zipper is freaky. The belt, there is no line. It goes into like a V thing. It's not my favorite, but I still like it. I will still go out. I will not go out every time. She knows I'm filming. Pants, I was talking about pants. So I made these pants, they're not perfect. However, now this is gonna be my third iteration of making pants and every time I get better and better. So hopefully third time's the charm and I will do better on this one. But you might be like, how? How are you gonna do better? You didn't do better the first and the second was a little better, but not quite. How are we, well, let me show you, just, just one second. Well, I've learned from my past mistakes and have now created painstakingly a 40 piece pattern that I still need to cut out. This is free like this off uh, patterns by mood designer fabrics. It's a free pattern. All I had to do was sign up. They gave me these pants and they were extremely hard to put together because there were 40 pages that I had to cut out by hand and assemble it together. And I don't know if you can see, but it's not even perfect. And I don't know how this is gonna work. I also have to go back and read the instructions because I think the instructions said that you need five yards of fabric. I have three yards of fabric. So we will see if perchance I can make the pants. I'm hoping to at least get the pant legs figured out. This is the fabric I got, and it is a beautiful golden star like pattern that I really like. But this is what we're working with, and I'm guessing it should be enough. So it's been a few days, it's actually been a quite long time. I have finished said pants, but we are going to talk about said pants because boy, was that an experience. But before we begin, if you haven't subscribed and would like to, you can do that now or later or in another universe. Otherwise, let's get started on explaining what I did to create these pants. So the first thing I did was cutting out the pattern and the pattern, I don't think I aligned correctly the first time. So there were a lot of like holes and stuff and I didn't tape it down properly. So as I was cutting the pattern out, really retape like the front and back side to get a solid base for the pattern. And luckily I downsized. Well, I didn't really downsize the pattern, but I cut where there wasn't there was not any holes in the pattern actually, so it worked out perfectly. And the thing was so god the thing was so big and I had to move around it and I do not know if I would recommend. I don't know. I'm torn because it's a free pattern and it worked out like I have, I know the thing and you're gonna see how it worked but it's just it took a lot more effort I guess that's what you're sacrificing you can either pay for a pattern that's already you know not even cut but it's already like made and you know have print and tape and all that versus you know having to do that by yourself so I guess there's like it sort of balances out at the end and the big question was because the instructions did say I think you needed five yards and I know that I did not have five yards I don't think I got the fabric a long time ago so I am not sure how much fabric I actually had but so I had to see if I had enough fabric and actually I did have enough fabric it barely fit like the way I wanted to go I wanted the stars to go horizontally and the pant leg barely fit on the fabric the way it was going but I had enough so I doubled it so when I cut out I had both like sides already so it actually worked out perfectly no complaints and then I still had enough fabric to 
all the other pieces of the pan and I do need some like good cutting shears because I used the scissors I just had and they, they were awful I didn't like them I need to get like actual cutting because it frayed a lot it was, it was really jagged I hated it but it worked for what it had to do plus I knew I was going to sew it and hem it and do all that so the raw edge didn't really concern me that much Okay, so we have all the things cut out. So let's start assembling them together. Now this is where everything could go wrong. So let's try to make this as good as possible. So these instructions that came with the pattern is like five two sentence paragraphs with like a picture underneath. They were not that helpful at all really which sucked because I, the first thing they told me to do was pleat the front of the pants which they had guides on the pattern for so with the instructions it said follow the guidelines on your pattern to create the two pleats in front of the panel of your pants and pin them in place so one pleat is like here to like here so i just quickly pleated those and thank god for YouTube. Like this platform is really fabulous when it comes to like beginner sewing or any like crap or literally anything because I had to look up like a few sewing videos and hopefully I can find, I can probably find who I referenced in helping me actually complete this project. I should have them up in screen soon. It wasn't as hard. They wanted me to do was pleat, then I sewed it together. Then came the first hurdle, which is pockets. And the pockets were horrible. It's my first time doing pockets, right? So first I pinned it all together. I knew where to sew it and pin it and like do all that. So I pinned it, which was fine. I sewed it, which was fine. Then I came back and realized I sewed it on the wrong side. So I think they were supposed to have, it was supposed to be like the pa the printed side and the non-printed side together, but I did printed side to printed side. So then I had to spend like 15 minutes, not even exaggerating, like five minutes undoing what I just sewed and then redoing what I just sewed. Finally, it worked out fine. And luckily I didn't sew the second pant leg with the pocket. So I didn't have to do this twice because I feel like if I did them at the same time, I would have had to redo it to the other pants as well. Okay. I finally finished putting in the pockets. Just for context, I started sewing the pockets around like 12 and it is currently 1.30. So to say that was a challenge is an understatement. However, we have pockets. I think I'm supposed to sew the pocket seam to the top, but I will do that later because we are going to try to do the zipper now, which is a whole nother learning process for me. So let's get started on that. So I got this invisible zipper that I'm going to attach to these pants. I might have gotten an extra long zipper, but that's all. That is okay. The zipper, because the first time I did a zipper, it did not turn out good at all because it's just, it was crooked. I sewed it wrong, I cut it wrong. There was a big hole, yada, yada, yada. But actually this went surprisingly well and I'm happy for it. Like it, it looks, I think I did a, li a little crooked, but overall it looks really, really good. So, all right, I have the zipper. Boom, she is sewn. And so the only thing I think I have left is put the back panel. Then we will be all done. Oh wait, plus the waistband. So let me finish that up real quick. I think I'm getting over the hill on, on some sewing skill, like zippers, but every day I get better and that's what I hope for. So it's a win. I believe I sewed the front two panels together and then I sewed the back two panels together and then I messed up somehow with the... So going back to the pockets, I actually think I sewed the actual pocket, like where it actually became a pocket, um, before I actually had to. Because I think you were supposed to sew it back panel of the pants, so, so you had the back panel of the pants connect the actual pocket and the front pants. But I didn't do it that way, but I figured out how to maneuver 
sewing the pocket to the back panel of the pants and I just literally sewed everything up. What I did with the pattern was I made it just, a, I did it a size bigger because you can always like take things in. I did have to hem the bottom of the bomb and you know, they still have their rough edge. So I wanted to completely get rid of that. Oh, oh, the waistband. So I had the pants, I made the pants. I didn't have the pants. I made the pants and then I had the make. So I, and then the final step was to put the waistband on. Really simple, really easy. Looks fabulous. Gonna do it to my other pants because it just looks nicer. Um, and then I did two eye hooks because it, because for the zipper, when you zip it all the way up, there's like a little flap that goes over it. So I did two eye hooks that attached to cover up sort of that zipper. Um, and then I had pants. And that was like amazing. And I really like the style because I really like the run and it worked out. So without further ado, let me show you the final result. Hmm. I feel like I'm missing something. Hmm. Oh, the pockets are backwards.